Hello, I'm Omer Madison Kem. Welcome back. In the last video, we heard the preamble to the Populist Party's political platform from the POP's first convention in Omaha, Nebraska back in 1892. In this video, we will continue on with the platform of the Populist Party from 1892. Although historians often speak of a populist movement in the 1880s, it wasn't until 1892 that the People's or Populist Party was formally organized. The Omaha Platform, adopted by the founding convention of the party on July 4, 1892, set out the basic tenets of the populist movement. The movement had emerged out of the cooperative crusade we organized by way of the Farmers' Alliance in the 1880s. The preamble you heard in the previous video was written by Minnesota lawyer, farmer, politician, and novelist, Ignatius Donnelly. Delegates to the Omaha Convention embraced the platform with great enthusiasm. Many of the specific proposals urged by the Omaha platform, the graduated income tax, the secret ballot, the direct election of senators, the eight-hour day, one enactment in the progressive and New Deal eras of the next century. Here is the Populist Party platform of 1892. We declare, therefore, first, that the union of the labor forces of the United States this day consummated shall be permanent and perpetual, May its spirit enter into all hearts for the salvation of the Republic and the uplifting of mankind. Second, wealth belongs to him who creates it, and every dollar taken from industry without an equivalent is robbery. If any will not work, neither shall he eat. The interests of rural and civic labor are the same, their enemies are identical. Third, we believe that the time has come when the railroad corporations will either own the people or the people must own the railroads, and should the government enter upon the work of owning and managing all railroads, we should favor an amendment to the Constitution by which all persons engaged in the government service shall be placed under a civil service regulation of the most rigid character, so as to prevent the increase of the power of the national administration, by the use of additional government employees. Finance we demand a national currency, safe, sound, and flexible, issued by the general government only, a full legal tender for all debts, public and private, and that without the use of banking corporations, a just, equitable, and efficient means of distribution direct to the people, at a tax not to exceed 2% per annum, to be provided as set forth in the sub-treasury plan of the Farmers' Alliance, or a better system, also by payments in discharge of its obligations for public. Improvements we demand free and unlimited coinage of silver and gold at the present legal ratio of 16 to 1. We demand that the amount of circulating medium be speedily increased to not less than $50 per capita. We demand a graduated income tax. We believe that the money of the country should be kept as much as possible in the hands of the people, and hence we demand that all state and national revenues shall be limited to the necessary expenses of the government, economically and honestly administered. We demand that postal savings banks be established by the government for the safe deposit of the earnings of the people and to facilitate exchange. Transportation, transportation being a means of exchange and a public necessity, the government should own and operate the railroads in the interest of the people. The telegraph, telephone, like the post office system, being a necessity for the transmission of news, should be owned and operated by the government in the interest of the people. Land. The land, including all the natural sources of wealth, is the heritage of the people, and should not be monopolized for speculative purposes, and alien ownership of land should be prohibited. All land now held by railroads and other corporations in excess of their actual needs, and all lands now owned by aliens should be reclaimed by the government and held for actual settlers only. Well, that was our platform from 1892. There were lots of important topics discussed at that convention in Omaha. In the next, and final, video, we'll present the expression of populist sentiments, which was a summary of the main resolutions, expressive of the sentiments of the convention. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel, then click the link below in the comment section to move to the third and final video in this series. Thanks for watching. This is Omer Madison Kem, populist congressman from Nebraska saying so long for now.